Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a five cup flip cup pour. So this cup of white I'm pouring on has been kept really thick deliberately for the base layer. What I've got in my head for this piece is for it to be a kind of tall, thin portrait style with horizontal stripes, hopefully still keeping lots of nice white negative space. Oh, at this point I'm really hoping that you're going to see. It's a rubbish shot, but I'm still on crutches so I can't really get up and move the camera. So hopefully you'll get a little glimpse of these. I'm not potty either. I am making six cups of paint here, but I just kind of had a change of heart and realised five of these little cups maybe won't cut it for enough colour on all this white. I don't want full on pastel, so we're going for six cups. If you're interested to know the recipe that I'm using for these today, I will bob it down in the description box. Or even if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll answer you. That way it saves me waffling on here. It's time to start flipping these cups. All I'm using is like a little baking cake slice thing. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Here we go. This piece has come up absolutely beautifully after being left to dry so I thought I'd bob back before I upload this video and I'll varnish it with you. I just like to use one of these little makeup sponges that helps avoid a lot of the streaks and I use this golden uh, gloss polymer varnish diluted four parts varnish to one part water and then I just evenly go all the same direction and then I wait a little while and I come back and I'll do repeated layers in opposite cross hatching directions. So just get plenty on here. I'm just going to rub like so as evenly as I can. So I'll just continue to do this all the way across the piece. It was a nice, quick, simple process. I love this. I love my resin, as we all know, but I also love finishing a piece. Just the simplicity of the varnish. There's no fuss. All these colours are just popping to life straight away. 
It's just going on beautifully. I'm pretty astounded how it's turned out. Right, I'm back for layer two. It's just gone, it's not night, it's a couple of hours later. So it's just gone really overcast and rainy. So hopefully the light will bounce back a little bit for me. So I apologise for the shadows. Not, not ideal, I know. So all I'm going to do now is try and apply enough varnish to get full streaks like this. It's all about keeping a really even pressure. And then you won't have a problem with streaks. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm loving it. Just a quick wipe around the edge, just in case I've got any rogue dribbles. I don't think I have. We're all good. We're all good. Can you see any patches? <laughs> I don't. That looks okay. Right, I will be back. I'm just going to carry on. There we go, we've got five coats of varnish and it's finished and popped the colours perfectly. It's so vibrant. It's exactly as I wanted it to be, not too pastely. And so much going on. Can you see? The copper's played well. The orange played well, the red and gold played well, the purple and yellow is just gorgeous, some more orange, into purples, and finishing with beautiful coppers. There we go, we got there in the end. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my videos. If you'd like to sub subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button, you'll be notified when I post new videos. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye now.